something to say. I want to take a second. Can we just sit down for a second? Let's take a second. Sit down. It's all right. Pretend it's Bon Jovi or one of those other motherfuckers. Just sit down. I'll sit down with you. Sit down. Pretend we're in church for a second. I got something I want to talk about. Because this is a fucking important night to us and to you guys. You can put your fucking cell phone down and sit there you go. You can tweak that shit later, motherfucker. <laughs> so this is what I was thinking. Vince said we got together 
33 years ago, and it's true. And I just wanted to take you through a little bit of a history lesson on Motley Crue, for those of you that don't know. First of all, I love these motherfuckers. I've spent my whole life with these guys. We've outlasted everybody we know, any family members we've outlasted. We've done it all together. So just for a second, I want to tell you how the whole fucking thing started. There was a club. Should I sit down with you? There was a club in Los Angeles called the Starwood. It was on Santa Monica Boulevard. And I went in there. I was in a band called London. And we were doing our thing. And there was all these other bands floating around Los Angeles. And some had some pretty cool fucking guys. And I went to the Starwood. And I saw this skinny little motherfucker. Had to be 17 years old. Sorry to embarrass you, Tommy, but the motherfucker was wearing leopard skin girl spandex pants. We had two beers and two girls, and I went, all right, I just saw him play drums. I'm going to see if he's fucked up like I am and wants to start a fucking band that does something different. And we got together, and I had these, these songs like Too Fast for Love, and live wire and what else? Take me to the top. So we had the beginning of a fucking idea. And in Los Angeles, all the bands had little short hair and their little fucking skinny ties and kind of like what's going on right now in the music scene. And we said, we need a fucking guitar player, man. We need a guitar hero. And we looked in a magazine called The Recycler Magazine and there was this one ad. Everybody else was like, I'm into the knack, I'm into the plimsels, I want to fit in, I want to kiss ass, I want to suck dick. And then there was one ad that said, loud, rude, aggressive guitar player, call me if you're fucking serious. Nick fucking Rollins! And that little motherfucker showed up to my house with two Marshall stacks, and me and Tommy and Mick started fucking making a goddamn racket. Right, Nick? It's yours! Loud motherfucker right there. So we were missing that one fucking element, man. We wanted a goddamn motherfucker on lead vocals. And we were looking, and it was the same goddamn shit every fucking night, everywhere we went. And Tommy said, I know this guy named Vince Neal. And we called him. And he didn't show up for band rehearsal. Imagine that! And we went to a club and we saw him singing his ass off. And we convinced him to come down. And the first thing I handed him were the lyrics to Livewire. And Mick ripped into it. Tommy ripped into it. I ripped into it. And that fucking moment right there is why we're all here right fucking now. That was the beginning of Model Kid. And we just wanted to say thank you for putting up with our bad behavior for over 30 fucking years. Our music will live on. You guys will live on. Decades will live on. We love you motherfuckers. Stand up. Make some fucking noise. Let's do this. Come on.
dust of hell among the blackest of hates. For he will be unwell, wait you, wait you, wait you now. Many, many lifetimes later, they destroyed it, beat them down, all made of corpses of rebels, ashes of dreams and bloodstained streets. It has been written that those who want to use it have a future. So come on now, children of the beast, it's the beast one. It's shouting out.
Coach Knives.